Say hello everyone. Um, today we are going to be talking about making some baby friendly teething popsicles. Um, what I love about this recipe is that you don't need, you know, too much um, supplies. Um, the only thing you will need to get is a uh, one of these little like pacifier um, mesh things. Um, they open up. So you can put baby food in here and baby can bite on it without getting big chunks or the risk of choking on, um, you know, big pieces. So you'll need one of these, you'll need an ice cube tray, and whatever fruit, vegetables you have on hand, um, you know, you can make these million and one ways like um you know especially if say baby is like maybe three months four months old not really on solid food yet but you're noticing that they are drooling a lot more you know their teeth are irritating them you can put um your breast milk or even formula and to the ice cube trays and i would recommend only filling them halfway up the little um you know cubes there freezing it and then um putting you know maybe I was able to fit one in these so putting one in here giving it to baby just to bite on um, you know it is recommended that when babies do start eating solid foods that um, you know they eat one food for a week just to see how their body reacts to it if they're allergic to it or you know say eating strawberries make them very gassy so seeing how their body reacts to it so then you can kind of customize this to what baby's eating and what be baby's being introduced to so if she's she or he's being introduced to bananas you can mash up bananas and put bananas each in every one of the cubes freeze it and then put it in their little mesh pacifier whenever you know baby needs some um comfort um from teething um, and what's um, also great too is you can mix and match um, you know when baby gets older um, you know so if you want to add more greens into baby's diet and they're not really taking vegetables you can easily mix um, you know avocados and strawberries or you know mix up some steamed broccoli and puree it you know if you have a food processor you know blend everything up and make little cubes and put them into each of the little strainers which is very very good um the reason why i like using um you know teething popsicles is because um you know when baby's teething it really helps soothe their gums if they can bite on something and you'll know when they're teething they will be drooling they'll be trying to bite you if you're breastfeeding maybe baby has bitten you um you know just those little kind of cues that they are teething um and also to it being cold also adds um some soothing to their gums and make sure that um you know it's kind of a pain reliever for them and plus they get a yummy treat um which is so great with these because you can see there's little mesh holes on here that help um you know when baby is biting on it especially if it's frozen um you know it, they get only little bits and pieces through so you know you're not worried about baby choking um i will warn caution that if you are using um, say strawberries or beets or any bright colored food it would probably be best to um, let baby eat their popsicle um, either with a bib on or you know if you want them just to have no shirt on because I've found too even just previous experience with my kids that um, any bright colored food or vegetable kind of stains clothes especially when it's frozen and baby's chewing on it and turns it into the juice um you know you, you don't want any of their best clothes to be getting getting stained um this is also great too if say you don't have time to mash up you know food or prepare um if you want to put fresh fruit in here you know a chunk of watermelon or strawberries or some slices of avocado um 
you know, you can, or even broccoli, another great thing too, is you can even freeze, um, you know, those chunks of fruit or vegetables and put them in here too. So there's a variety of ways to make um, teething popsicles, which is great. And a lot of the recipes I found for my kids have been on Pinterest, online. One of my favorites that I love to give my kids and I knew um, they really enjoyed was I would mash up avocado with either strawberries or um, raspberries and I would mash the avocado up really nice and smooth, um, got it to a real smooth texture and then I would puree um, the raspberries and strawberries and mix them both. Um, you know, so I'd have half the ice cube tray, strawberry and avocado, and the other half raspberry and avocado. And I just really like trying to incorporate avocado as much as I could into their diet because it's such a great, um, I know there's the debate if it's a fruit or vegetable because it has a big seed, but it's such, so packed with nutrients, so good for babies. Um, and I knew when they got older, they may not like avocado, so I wanted to introduce them um, when they were young and try and get it, um, you know, give it to them as much as I could. So, that is that. Um, and then the other thing that I love about these is that you can get a bunch of them. You can get them at the dollar store. Um, this is the one I bought for my niece. It was at Walmart, it was $3. Um, they have all different shapes and sizes, so um, most of the ones have like a little ring so baby can hold on to. This one has a little handle. So you can get these everywhere. Um, you can use whatever fruit you have on hand. You can even use, you know, the fruit pouches if you have them, if baby's accustomed to eating them. Um, you know, put some in an ice cube tray, freeze it up, and give it to baby. So it's a very versatile thing, so I hope you and baby enjoy.